Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Cooker Run Oven Break, where I'm actually going to be participating in the team fights again. And there's a very important reason why I'm participating in this, is because we're literally on the route, in route, whatever the term is, to get the treasure, the legendary treasure, the essence of conflagration. And because of this, we only need to do two out of the three fights for our promotion. That's very scary. And I'm hoping that we just pull through. Now, I have gotten some combis in order. Okay, except Collect 1,500 jellies. Okay, because of this, I'm actually using my patented big jelly combi, which is Hydrogen Cookie, but also the, uh, the Frost King pet. And just look at all this. L look how uh, all this stuff is going on here. And you know what? Since I want to make sure I guarantee ourselves a win, let's show off a max boost. Let's crank it up to the extreme, you know? Which, even just in case, let me actually show off what this new treasure could potentially give us by equipping it. Because we can actually equip the treasure since we have it. So let's just go ahead and ready up. And we'll see, we'll see if we can get this done. And as you can see, this is basically the meta for specifically jelly collecting. There's a lot of things that you can do when it, it comes to, like, the specific team mission. So, for example, if it's jellies, it's very good to go for Hydrangea. If it's bear jellies, apparently it's very good to go for crowberry, as far as I know. If you're destroying obstacles, I've heard that purple yam is the best, but preferably, I actually prefer using sorbet shark. But that's just me. And for some reason, they're getting more points than me, and I think I know why. It's because they're using crowberry. Oh my gosh, imagine if we lose this. I will, like, cry. Come on, please, game. And all we're getting is just, like, jellies. Oh, no, wait. Okay, we can get the lead on this one. Okay, cool. This definitely helps, especially if you win, just so you can get a big boost of jellies. But, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I heard Purple Yam is very good for destroying obstacles, but I also usually tend to use Sorbet Shark and a bunch of, like, destroying obstacle treasures, like the Dark Quiver and the uh, Meteor uh, Magic Candy thing. Somehow they got more, and I swear, it's just so confusing how sometimes they can just get more, and sometimes, like, we could just get less. It's so confusing. Okay, I will say the spring shoe defect, which basically makes it so that whenever a cookie has it, makes it so that you jump super high, it can definitely confuse him, especially on a, a plumbing level like this. It can definitely uh, make him goofed up. Uh, but also, a big thing that you need to know is that freaking spam your power-ups. Like the debuffs, whenever it comes to uh, playing against them, just make sure that you spam as many of them as you can. Just like, do your best. And just like get a lot of jellies and also there's another mission as far as i remember uh, coins now uh, now i don't mean to be an obvious one but i'm just saying if if you if i even i knew from the very start uh plumbing che cheesecake cookie was going to be absolutely broken for that like seriously i swear i'm not getting some of this because it's just like sometimes it's just like oh we'll give you a ton of jellies this time but then other times, it's like, they apparently just get more. I, for some reason, I feel like it has something to do with them getting Crowberry Cookie. Which, this actually makes me worried, because if we actually don't end up winning this, then uh, we're actually going to be in a very bad spot, because that means we would have to win two games in a plebbing row. Okay, but okay, big line of jellies, big line of jellies. We need this. We absolutely need this. Okay, cool, we got the success there. Uh, I wish my ability could activate again, but apparently now they're just in the lead for jellies, which I hope I can get back in the lead. Uh, it's gonna look close. Oh, did we get it? Okay, cool, we got that. Uh, if we could just keep it up, then we should be fine. I'm hoping. All those, all those. Freeze one of them. We got another one. Nice, 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 nice. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, race is over. Did we apply for, uh, passing? Did I get first? No, I got third. I, th I think that's enough. Even if they get, like, the bonus of whatever. I don't know how this bonus works. A total point bonus? Okay, so don't know. <laughs> it's the Hydrangea League. <laughs> All right, we have one out of three fights won. We need to win one more. So if we fail the next one, we still have an opportunity. But that just makes me really, really worried. I have very high hopes that we can do this. I am just also at the same time praying. So let's go ahead and find another match. Uh, I need to do one more fight and win. All right, is everyone gonna be joining up? It, it. Okay, there we go. Destroy 800 obstacles. Now, here's the thing. 
People say I usually, you know, people use, uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before. People would use a purple yam, but I use sorbet shark because to be, okay, I don't like the fact how, uh, someone is using tiramisu. Like, uh, and also there's also an option where you can, uh, use, uh, like you can, uh, share combi. Wait, 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 hold on, no, I'm not preparing you. I feel like, uh, uh, should I, I can tiramisu realistically destroy obstacle good? Because I can't leave now. Wait, hold on, I got an idea. Well, I didn't- I... Oh, we lose. There's no way we win. It automatically prepared me. Oh, that's so unfair. And they, and they got, like, orange cookie too, which is, like, perfect for destroying obstacles. Oh, we so lose. I was gonna, like, tell- I'm gonna- I was gonna use the chat system and tell him, like, hey, change the combi to this. So, you, if you change the combi to this, that means that, uh, you know- You'll, this would be the perfect, uh, this would be better for you to destroy obstacles with. Because there's like a text thing that you can press, which can help you destroy obstacles. I mean, somehow we're in the lead, and we actually got that first one somehow, but I'm scared because they also have a max boost. So they're probably going to realis realistically catch up, and also, uh, yeah, thank, yeah, thank you so much, game. Oh my gosh. That was just, that was just bad. Come on, freeze one of them. Well, I got those up there, but we still managed to fail that. And for some reason, everything's speeding up. I don't like that. Okay, well, now we're in super boost mode, sure. Okay, just break all the obstacles up top of there. See, this is why I really think Sorbet Shark is really good for this, in comparison to Purple Yam, in my opinion. Of course, while it will take a little bit for their skill to, like, you know, activate, I just enjoy how... Oh, okay. Well, surprisingly, that uh, carrot arrow, that carrot missile, it actually didn't work. But, uh, Plumbing, I will say, I should probably, like, use, uh, Plumbing... Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is definitely not good. Like, I, I would not be lying if I said I was in a good scenario. Oh, great. Come on. Use those. Get those potions. Get those. I only got one. Get that potion, please. Okay, activate this again. Alright, got the dub on that. Nice. Uh, just break a bunch more. Break a bunch more. It seems like we do have, like, a... Uh, I, I don't want to, like, say anything, though. Because that could end up messing us up. Just like us ending up like soon, uh, just like having a good lead, but like we could immediately lose it for all we know. But I'm just saying, once that skill pops in, it definitely does help us, like for a reason. Like I should like I should just be bashing all this down. See, look at that success again. Nice. If only I could have gotten more of those jellies. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Man, what the plum is going on? I swear, everything. Sure. Okay. I got I got used. I got keep using my uh plumbing things. If we actually end up managing to do this, I really thought, like, we would have lost. Legit. And by the way, I'm, I may be, or nay, uh, nay? I may or may not be doing something interesting where, like, I'm recording this, but also the treasure trial video, like, in between. So, like, I recorded one part of the treasure trial video, but, uh, oh yeah, there's all the treasure chests that I never spawned. But, like, oh my gosh, let me see this. Oh, no way. Did I really just sleep on Tiramisu and they managed to get top score? I'm such, like, I still managed to get third, somehow, which I'm impressed with. But oh my gosh, we did it! We didn't even need to stress about losing another game. Or like, losing one game and then like, having to win another. So we'd be, it'd be like, playing either- it would just be like a full-on win or lose situation for us. We just went- we just straight up won two in a row! That's... I'm happy! Oh my gosh, I'm, and we made it to Masters! <laughs> oh my- Oh, that's so cool! Now, I think I'm gonna do one more just to see if, like, anything changes in Masters, but before I do that, I need to get this. Boom. And there we go. We have the Legendary Treasure, which you know for a fact, I'm gonna try my hardest to try and boost that up. And you know what? Since we're here... Ooh, Spear- You know what? No, no. I'll get the Rainbow Cubes. May as well spend a lot of my points here, since I'm already in the ma uh... Because level 3, that also gets unlocked when you reach Masters. Because you unlock level 3 and also the legendary treasure itself. And since I bought that, may as well spend it on the rainbow cubes. If I ever get more points, which I most likely will, I'm probably going to spend it on the spirit potions and then the quick replay tickets. And see if I can clear up more of, the more of the shop. Which, I will say, let me just final match real quick. This game mode can be fun. It's just kind of like luck of the draw with like who your teammates are. Alright, 150 obstacles. I guess we're just gonna go in this with Sorbet Shark Cookie again. Along with Purple Yam and Pepper and Chino, apparently from, from what I heard, a really good cookie to use when destroying obstacles... It... 
Do we just get blessed with a max boost? Okay, sure, my, I, I don't mind that. But, uh, apparently a really good cookie to use when destroying obstacles is actually Ice Captain, or Captain Ice Cookie. But, uh, wait, did we want to, uh, are we, like, oh, actually, hmm, oh, I, no, I think I want to focus on just treasures that destroy everything, though. I'm not sure, does the legendary treasure destroy? I don't know. They're also, oh, well, they're, they're actually using the straight-up dynamite. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare. They aren't max boosted, though. So we may have a little bit more of an advantage, but then again, as we proved before, even if the other team is max boost, that still, that, that gives, it, it still gives you an opportunity to win. Oh my lord, look at all this stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on, what do you mean we didn't get that? Are you memeing me right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a joke. How dare you? Literally just ran through all that and you're still over here just like, oh nah. That didn't break anything. See, there we go. Now there's, the, there's the success that we need. If we lose this, I don't care, but I will still be happy if we win because I need all the points. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually a level where you can actually get damaged a lot if you don't jump accurately. But yeah. Let me, while, while we're here, and since I already got, yep, uh, speaking of getting damaged. Uh, let me give you all a good piece of advice for when you're going through these uh, game modes. Like playing through a team fight. Make sure that you have combis set as, like according to what you want your specific team for the specific team mission to be as. So let's say you want to have a cookie that needs to destroy obstacles. Depending on what your that cookie will be, just have a combi set for that so you can instantly swap to it and not stress about like having to change between a cookie that you'd use for like getting coins and a cookie that you use for uh, destroying obstacles. Just have those as combi sets and then you can quickly swap between them without having to worry. Or without having to worry, you know, specifically about the timer, or without your plumbing uh, teammates just screaming at you. Now, of course, I've actually been a part of one game where uh, two teammates were a part of, uh, they were, apparently, he, he, actually, this, I guess it will count as a funny story, but let me just mention this real quick. So, I was playing team fights, and then there was this team of two who was both using purple yam. And I didn't want to, because... I was not as good as a purple yam as I was with Sorbet Shark because, you know, Sorbet Shark, I have them maxed out and, like, I don't have, like, the best costume. Like, I have a, a epic costume for purple yam, but not the super epic. Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually about to die here. That's kind of worrying. But, uh, yeah, when I only had Sorbet Shark, they, like, kept, one of them kept spamming me to, like, change, change to yam. And I was like, sure, I guess I changed, but then I showed off how, like, bad I was with it. And, like, how my yam was only, like, I think level 5 or 6. So, instantly, I get, they instantly hit me with the max boost. Which, I thought that was just an insanely kind gesture. Gesture? Gesture. Which, that was just great. Shoutouts to who, who they were, because I wish I could have remembered your names. Because that was just, that was a very kind moment. Uh, okay. I think we did it. Points? Yeah, we got all of it. Points? Nice. Oh, and an extra 140 right there with 300 trophies. There's rankings above Master, right? Let me just check. Uh, leaderboard. Uh, that definitely looks like a... Okay, Challenger and Legend. Okay, maybe at some point I can make a video trying to get to Legend status. But for now, I think it's a good time to end the video here. Uh, if you want to see me actually use the treasure in action, then please uh, stay for uh, the treasure trial video that I'm going to be soon doing for the actual uh, essence of flagration, whatever it is. Essence of conflagration. Yeah, stick around for that video to come out. And yeah, it's going to be a fun time. So, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. Also, share with friends more cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, I have merchandise if you want to check it out. I'm not forcing you to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hypnies!